excited to report that uh, to Lexingtonians and to the community that the Friends of the Kentucky Theater, uh, a privately formed group uh, that is raising funds, still continuing to raise funds for the renovation of the Kentucky Theater, uh, has raised the money needed for the digital conversion of projectors for the Kentucky Theater. Uh, so the Kentucky Theater now is just like the other multiplexes in Lexington. Uh, we have the same ca capabilities that they have. And, um, and in fact, they're very excited because just in time for the summer classics, beginning the first, the, the last Wednesday of May through the Wednesday of Labor Day, there's a classic film at the Kentucky, uh, matinee at 1.30, an evening show at 7.15. Uh, all seats are $5. Uh, tickets can be purchased in advance uh, starting the Sunday before that Wednesday. It was very difficult in years past because with 35 millimeter film, there were so many films that uh, was out of release and, and uh, just didn't exist any longer. And now with the new digital projectors, it's gonna offer up or have a wider menu of films for it to choose from. Uh, Gone with the Wind is the first uh, film for the summer. The second film is Singing in the Rain. The Shining that a lot of folks have, for years have said, why do you show just The Shining at midnight? So now we're gonna have it uh, a matinee and an early evening show. Uh, how the West Was Won, uh, took five directors to make that film. Uh, some of the other things that's on there, uh, the guys will probably be uh, happy about this one. Hasn't been around in the theater for a long time, is Apocalypse Now. Another film is uh, The Great Escape. Uh, there's a John Wayne, Rio Bravo. Uh, and, of course, I think just about everybody's favorite is To Kill a Mockingbird. And it looks like there's probably 15 films for the summer. So I'm sure there's something on there for everybody. You'll see a better image, brighter image on the screen. Uh, the sound is much more enhanced. Uh, the projectionist can't miss a changeover. And you definitely, you don't see scratches on films that you might have seen in the past. The Kentucky Theater has been now reopened for 20 years, 21 years in fact, uh, where we're standing now here in the auditorium. There are many light fixtures in the ceiling that need to be replaced. It's not that the light bulbs are burned out, it's that the fixtures are, are, uh, are out and will not work. We need to be more green. We want to have a, use a lot of LEDs. Uh, the seats, uh, I guess there's just been a lot of butts in those seats over the past 20 years. And it's not anybody that's actually that they've torn up the seats. It's just from wear and tear, normal wear and tear. And so uh, we need new carpeting, um, uh, kind of a fresh paint job and some plastering and uh, throughout the lobby that, again, some paint work and, and uh, also the, uh, the uh, trademark marquee for the Kentucky Theater that pretty much everybody uh, recognizes. And uh, that needs to be redone with a lot of electrical sockets and neon lighting. And that can be done with the, uh, with the LEDs. And so uh, uh, we're really looking forward to that. And, um, and yes, it's, uh, there's several hundreds of thousands of dollars that need to be raised, but all donations are welcome. And uh, some of this may have to be done in stages, but that's fine, just as long as we get it done. And it's certainly, the Kentucky Theater means a whole lot to lots of people.